What's going on YouTube? All that fish guy, Taheem, back with another video about my two new gold serverum cichlids. It's those guys right there. They're probably about maybe an inch and a half, two inches big. Um, got the, got these guys today. Uh, already starting to, you know, figure out the hiding spots. Probably just finished acclimating them like 30 seconds ago. Uh, set, let them sit in the bag for about 45 minutes. I like to make sure they're fully acclimated about 10 minutes left in the time I open up the bag and roll down the sides adding the current tank water with the bag water so they can get used to the conditions in the tank as well um, that one's hiding behind the plant right there and, you know since to stay out a little bit more um, hopefully they'll start venturing over here and I mean, but it's fine if they stay over by the plants, it really doesn't matter. I'd like for them to explore the whole tank, but you know, gotta give them some time. Uh, more additions to this tank may be that I will be adding some convict cichlids in here. Um, I looked up some good tank mates for these guys besides other servums and Oscars. Uh, convicts do pretty well, and I'm thinking about getting about maybe four of those guys so and they're on sale where I got these guys these guys were on sale for three bucks a piece so I got them because normally they're about seven a piece and it's just a complete steal so I bought them uh, I'll probably have a video up later of showing these guys and these guys African Zaylets Uh, eating brine shrimp, so looking forward to doing that. Probably around nine o'clock, maybe nine o'clock, eight thirty ish, eight thirty, nine o'clock, somewhere around there. I'll probably uh, shoot the video, but. Yeah. Um, I might also be adding some type of catfish because the fact that these guys don't have the mouth, like the giant open mouths like Oscars do or something like that, or uh, Jack Dempsey's or something like that will eat anything smaller. Uh, I might get some uh, Corys in here, some Corydors, or just some uh, other types of catfish in here. Um, maybe getting a biker or some kind of eel. Uh, I might get two of those. Or I just might just get convict cichlids and catfish. Uh, one or the other. I'm still debating. I'm not trying to, you know, crowd this tank up ridiculously. I'm just, may get the four convicts and call it a day. But to my two gold serum cichlids. Uh, actually, they're starting to explore the other side now, which is a good sign that they're, you know, moving around, obviously. Uh, what I noticed was actually these two were relatively near each other the whole time. Uh, that one was actually, I don't know if you could tell, but his tail is actually a bit. Uh, nipped up but it's not it's not really bad but still he's alright and all that he's a bit nipped up on the other fins too yeah. like I said be shooting another video around 8 30 9 o'clock ish I'll keep you guys posted on these guys and on the African cichlids. I've been thinking, this may just be the tank, this may just be the African cichlids, or I just might add, with this 12 in here now, either add four or five more, not too much more, because this is, has the equivalent of a 50 gallon tank, so it's not overcrowded but I want to stock it 
so there's not a whole lot of aggression when they're full grown. It's the best things to do. Oh, I also move. In my earlier videos, I had the red plant a little bit over more. Uh, I stuck it in here because it's a thicker and bushier plant, and it's actually used for more protective reasons against the male Ali right there. They all tend to hide over here in this big piece of Malaysian driftwood over here. They all, they're actually all out here. That's why you don't see them. But they're all back here with the thick bushy plant. The smallest of my cobalts is right there. But, yeah. All right, wrap this video up. Already took about six minutes to talk about that. Yeah, so expect the video, as I said, for probably the third time. Comment, subscribe, like, and thank you for your time.